According to the Maine Department of Health and Human Services, between 2007 and 2020, there have been 30 child homicides here in Maine. So today is the beginning of a two day walking tour in memory of those children and other suspected victims of child abuse. New Center Maine's Alex Haskell joins us with more on how their lives will be remembered. Good morning, Alex. Hi, Lee and Sharon. Today, Haley Godding, Jaden Harding, Marissa Kennedy and Maddox Williams are just a few of the children being celebrated by the Walk a Mile in Their Shoes Tour. The event is being organized by Senator Bill Diamond of Wyndham, who has been working on child abuse and child protection legislation for two decades. The tour will be stopping in this Old Town Park and other communities throughout Maine that have been touched by fatal child abuse to bring people together for listening sessions. The first stop on the tour is at the Old Town Park at 10 a.m. At noon, the tour will stop at the Bangor Public Library. At 1 p.m., another gathering will be held at the Brewer Ferris Community Center, and another is planned for 4 p.m. outside the Stockton Springs Town office, where the first day of the tour will wrap up. Senator Diamond says a lot more work has to be done in Augusta to protect Maine's children from abuse. I think the system does need to be changed. Kids keep dying, and, 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 and I think that's something that we can't stand for. We've got to say, we're going to stop this. So maybe this walk and we stop at each town and listen to people and listen to their stories, and their experiences. Maybe we all can learn even more. So those going to any of the stops of the tour are encouraged to wear blue in support of child abuse awareness and bring any homemade signs in memory of the children who have died. We will have a full schedule of the tour on our website and mobile app. Alex Haskell, New Center, Maine.